common question I'll get asked is, you know, what conditions would you use stem cell therapy or what I would term cellular prolotherapy for the knee? You know, we'll obviously see a lot of knee joint instability, ligament injuries, tendon injuries, cartilage injuries, you know, in the clinic here in Oak Park. So when would you choose, you know, kind of regular hemwall hackett prolotherapy, you know, with normal proliferance, such as D-glucose or dextrose, which is the normal sugar in the body? Or when would you choose to do one of the cellular prolotherapies, such as lipoaspirate or bone marrow prolotherapy? Well, normally it just relates to how extensive the injury is. If somebody has a cellular deficiency, they have a really, really bad tendinosis. You know, like the patellar tendon, it's very degenerated on MRI. Or someone's had the condition for years. You know, now I'm seeing them. I know that that patellar tendinosis is going to, there's not going to be a lot of cells there. So even if I use really strong proliferance, that there's not enough cells to proliferate. So you need to have cells, you have to inject cells in there to uh, get healing. So when there's a severe tendinosis, I would use cellular prolotherapy or stem cell prolotherapy. When there's bone on bone arthritis, because again, or somebody or a young person has a very large osteochondral defect. It just means that there's a big chunk of cartilage missing. In those situations, there's a cellular deficiency. There's not enough cells to proliferate. They're missing cartilage cells. Or somebody has a very large meniscal tear, you know, or they have a really, really bad degenerated meniscus that appears to be causing the problem. So again, you have a cellular deficiency. We have to inject cells in there. And in that situation, you might use bone marrow, PRP, or lipoaspirate.